Hurricane Ida made landfall on the exact same day that Hurricane Katrina made landfall and brought devastation to Louisiana and Mississippi. CBS 17 meteorologist Rachel Dunzing compares the two storms and their impacts to the Gulf Coast. Hurricane Ida made landfall yesterday in southeast Louisiana, and everyone wanted to compare it to 2005, Hurricane Katrina. And while the storms are similar in some ways, they are also very different. So let's take some time to talk about the similarities and the differences. So first of all, Ida ended up going west of where Katrina made landfall and west of the city of New Orleans, which meant that New Orleans had more direct wind impacts and the storm surge forecast, which were around 10 to 15 feet, were focused for southern Louisiana. As we compare that to Hurricane Katrina 2005, it ended up going more to the east, which meant there was more storm surge focused on the Mississippi coastline. And yes, while there were hurricane force winds and storm surge up to 20 feet experience in the New Orleans area, most of the devastation in the New Orleans metro was because of the catastrophic failure from the levee system, which of course has now been repaired and improved, thankfully. Katrina 2005. 2005 was a Category 3 hurricane with winds sustained at 125 miles per hour at landfall. But at its strongest point is a Category 5 with winds of 175 miles an hour. Ida was stronger at landfall, winds sustained at 150 miles an hour. But that was as strong as the storm ever got. So Katrina had more energy, those stronger winds to work with, which of course meant that storm surge was more significant and the winds were more significant as well. And of course, the final comparison, both storms made landfall on August 29th and both storms brought catastrophic damage to Louisiana. We don't like to compare storms, but these are two that the folks of Louisiana will never forget. In the studio, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.